Get ready, MMA fans. 2023 is going to be an unforgettable year, and you won't want to miss all of the fights. And in this video, we're going to tell you about the most anticipated fights of the next year, from the already announced matches to those that we are looking forward to. Colby Covington versus Hamza Chimaev. Now we cross our fingers that this one will actually take place in London. Islam Mahachev and Alexander Volkanovsky. Now that one promises to be an explosive showdown with reverberations throughout the martial arts world. Amanda Nunez versus Valentina Shevchenko 3. Witness one of the strongest head-to-head -head battles in women's MMA as these two dominant champions face off. Justin Gaethje will be fighting Rafael Fazeev. Now this is a fight that you don't want to miss. And also in this video, the return of Zabit Magomed Sharapov and also the return of Conor McGregor. Now whether you love him or hate him, Connor's return is surely exciting. Also, UFC 285 is sure to be hot as the matchmakers are set to announce a heavyweight title fight between Ngano and Jones. Now most likely that fight will take place in March, so we're going to kick things off in order. But before we do, we just want to thank everyone who has liked and subscribed to the channel. We are already more than 40,000 strong, and this is what gives us motivation to make new and interesting videos, so thank you very much. Now diving in, as you know, Francis Ngannou has been out of action for almost 13 months. Then you have the absence of John Jones, who, well, that's been going on for what, almost three years now? The last time the light heavyweight champion fought was back in February of 2020 when he defeated Dominic Reyes in a very close fight. But Ngannou last fought in January of 2022 when he defeated Cyril Gaunt. The Predator showed great strength and determination. And most importantly, the champion showed everyone his level of wrestling, which actually broke down Cyril Gaunt. And as for the long-awaited fight in Gano vs. Jones, I mean, come on, there is so much intrigue in this fight between two titans that the UFC will no doubt sell more than a million pay-per-views. And the fighters? Well, they finally get to answer the main question. Who is the best heavyweight, Ngano or John Jones? Even two years later, fans are still speculating about the possible return of John Jones, but the former light heavyweight champion cannot seem to reach an agreement with the UFC. As you might remember, reports originally said that John would be fighting for the interim heavyweight title this past summer with Stipe Miocic. However, those plans were subsequently delayed until September and then November, and now they've been pushed back all the way to 2023. Ask the question. Has the intrigue worn off? Or are we still as excited about John Jones fighting at heavyweight as we did before? Because remember, there was a, there were monsters at heavyweight whenever the first word of him going up came up. But now we got the monster heavyweight champion. But we got monsters who move like bantamweights. But the UFC is patiently waiting for the return of title holder Francis Ngannou after a knee surgery, making it unnecessary for Jones to really have to fight anyone else when the Predator is almost back. So we are now looking forward to the announcement of the Ngannou Jones title fight in March of 2023, which could mark John's phenomenal comeback as one of the most triumphant returns of this year. John Jones is a better, com better competitor than he is a fighter. Like he really understands the game. John Jones going up to heavyweight, going up against the guy that has the craziest power in UFC history by the name of Francis Ngannou. I do believe that will cement John Jones. It's going to put a stamp on top of the stamp, on top of the stamp that he is the greatest of all time. I personally, when I think of that matchup, especially Francis coming out of an injury and John being hungry, being out for, what is it, three and a half years, I think uh, I think the ball is really pretty much on John's. When I think of 2020 through the return on who is this going to be the fight of the year, I think of a guy like John Jones. But who would you root for? Let us know down in the comments. On March 18th, 2023, the London O2 Arena will be hosting UFC 286 for an exciting night of fights. The main event of the evening will be the fight between Leon Edwards and Kamaru Usman. However, it doesn't end there. Colby Covington and Hamza Chimaev will be taking place in the co-main event, and that one promises to be a great fight. Now, two of the best welterweights are ready to take each other on, and this London tournament has something special in store for everyone. Now, we can only hope that we will finally see this magnificent fight because Boars has expressed his consent to the fight, but Colby Covington does not want to sign for it just yet. It's easy to see why. Well, first, he was busy with lawsuits with his former friend, Jorge Masvidal. And secondly, he knows that he will be facing a young and ambitious opponent with amazing fighting skills and punching power. 
not with the likes of Tyron Woodley, Jorge Masvidal, or Robbie Lawler. So he's really got his work cut out for him. Now, despite the fact that Covington boasts an impressive level of endurance, outstanding technique in the octagon, and combined strength, it will still be very difficult for him against Hamza Chimaev. Now, it is sure to be a memorable matchup and could even be the highlight of the night. So therefore, we are crossing our fingers that this fight will actually take place in London. So don't miss your chance to witness this story unfold. <laughs> Oh, look here behind you. Woo! Who is this guy? Hello, guys. What's up? What's up? <laughs> On February 2nd, 2023, in Australia at UFC 284, two champions will be facing off in the night's main event, Islam Mahachev and Alexander Volkanovsky. Now, this is the first time that the number one and two on the pound-for-pound -pound ratings have ever been pitted against each other, setting us up for not only bragging rights, but also who is truly the number one among all of UFC's best fighters. And that one promises to be an explosive showdown, with reverberations throughout the entire MMA world. Now, this is a fight you do not want to miss. Justin Gaethje will be fighting Rafael Fazeev. Both lightweights are incredibly talented, and we can expect a fierce fight that will likely be dominated by Gaethje's incredible technique. With powerful strikes and lightning speed, Fazeev has shown that he was able to overcome any obstacle after his fight with Dos Anjos ended in a victory. Now get ready for the epic battle between these two very skilled fighters. Justin Zeno have a chance Gagey. Amanda Nunez and Valentina Shevchenko in a trilogy fight. Now you are not going to find a better trilogy fight in women's MMA than this one right here as the Lioness and Bullet take each other on. The two dominant champions have already met twice in the UFC. Although the Lioness was declared the winner after their second match, many were left unsatisfied due to a controversial split decision. So witness one of the best matches in women's MMA between these two very dominant champions. And Encourage Triple C is ready to return to the octagon. That's right, Henry Cejudo is set to return and claim his belt from Aljamain Sterling at UFC 285 in March. Since Cejudo has already entered the USADA testing pool, he is more than ready for whatever comes his way on this new journey. By taking on the monumental task of winning three different weight divisions, Henry aims to make history in a way that no one else has. With Sterling's huge skill set and vast experience in the octagon, though, if he succeeds, well, it's going to be a very incredible feat. After a massive six-win streak, the 31-year-old Russian fighter Zabit Magomed Sharapov announced in June of 2022 that his illustrious career as an MMA fighter was coming to a close. With the Ayer Rodriguez twice refusing to fight him and then illnesses plaguing him, the pressure had grown too great for Zabit who decided it was best just to retire from fighting, and he was one step away from achieving that UFC goal. But in December, Zabit hinted at his return to the octagon on social media, leaving a short and cryptic message. Contracts are not the same. So it is possible that Magomed Sharapov has not yet said his last word in the octagon. Alex Volkanovsky's recent comments about wanting to fight Zabit clearly demonstrate that Magomed Sharapov is still held in high regard, even after his last fight being almost two years ago and it really speaks to how special he wants to remain the pound-for-pound -pound UFC champ. Now at the end of the video, the return of Conor McGregor. Whether you love him or hate him, Conor's return is going to be massive for MMA. It hasn't even been a week since Conor McGregor announced his return, making it clear that he will be competing in multiple categories, lightweight, welterweight, and even middleweight. Photos of the Irishman suggest that he could be a light heavyweight as well, as the Notorious talks so much about coming back and how he loves to fight that it makes you wonder if he actually needs to, as Connor seems to be doing great. McGregor's return is Dana White's dream. So far, the UFC boss hasn't been able to turn someone into a star of that magnitude. Hamza Chimaev, well, he doesn't get enough of the views, and the reputation of Patty Pimblett and Sean O'Malley, on whom Dana placed all of his hopes on, well, they suffered greatly due to controversial refereeing decisions. But Connor, well, he is unique. Therefore, millions of fans will continue to wait for him, although it seems that the Irishman will no longer be able to give everything to mixed martial arts. Who does he fight? So yeah. Volkanovski and uh, Islam fight, yep. and Islam beats Volkanovski. What's next? 
That's a good question. Is it a rematch with Oliveira? What is it? It's, What's that? would be exciting. Is, but Islam versus, I mean, Poirier. I don't know if people... He's not 265. He's joking around. So that is all for today. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel because it is very important to us. And thank you all in advance.